Good morning. Welcome to another fine episode of Monday Morning Coffee with Josh. It's your host, Josh. Today I'm going to mix it up a little bit and bring you something a little bit offbeat when it comes to the coffee world and coffee selection. Today I bring you none other than Cumberland Farms 99 cent ice cold coffee. If you're looking for a great cup of coffee that beeps the competitors and slashes the prices, can't go wrong with Cumberland Farms coffee. 99 cents, you can make it your own way. I like to keep it black. So, there you go. I'm just doing a little pitch for Cumberland Farms because uh, they gave me a free coffee and I was pretty excited about it. And it's pretty darn good coffee. And I'm not meaning to shit on the other places, but other than McDonald's, you can't really beat the quality for price ratio. Um, if I'm listing off the top of the heads, if I'm going to go out and I'm, I need a coffee fix based off of taste and quality and price, it's Cumberland, McDonald's, then I'm going to go Roma Joe's, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts. And the reason people are like, why is Starbucks so low? It's because they're so stupid high with their coffee. And then Dunkin' Donuts is also stupid high and their quality is just bad. So... And Aroma Joe is kind of in the middle with all right coffee with moderate prices. So there you have it. There's my top five on coffees if you're wondering. So moving right along. Uh, last week I on Friday I thought I topically posted a good post of my tip of the day on what the actual sizes of wine are in a wine glass in an actual serving. Because if you fill up a wine glass you're getting anywhere depending on the size, from an actual serving to like three to four servings, which can be a problem if you're trying to get on that healthy lifestyle. Now, if you're trying to get on that social bandwagon because you're at a party, you're on your way to a good night. But that being said, I wanted to kind of talk about how in general alcohol fits into a healthy lifestyle. Now, we'll go over the benefits real quick. The benefits of alcohol are, it's a social lubricant, it can help you break out of your shell. It is a relaxant. Other than that, not many. The negatives are it can cause uh, sleep pattern dis- disruptions, um, lack of judgment, um, death, um, vomiting. It can cause uh, inflammation in the body. It's just not a great thing overall for the body. So you can make arguments that wine is okay. Wine's a little bit different than liquor and beer just because it comes from a fruit. So there's some benefits. Uh, However mild they are, it is a better option, I guess, again, in moderation. But then going back to our point, how does alcohol even fit into a healthy diet? And again, it really doesn't. But it doesn't mean if you enjoy it, you can't have it. It's just like we go back to everything else in moderation. So a heavy drinker, for a female, is anything over seven drinks a week. For a male, it's over 14. Um, realistically, living a healthy lifestyle, if you're having, for a male, it's anywhere between two to four drinks, and a female, one to two a week, you should be fine. As long as those are actual drinks, and you're not making yourself some crazy sugary drink, like if you're just having like straight whiskey or rum, or just an actual serving of wine, or a lighter beer, you should be golden on your track to health and fitness. But as you get above that, when you get into the three, four, five in a night, or throughout the course of the week, it's uh, hard to over overcome that, even though it's only looking at consuming anywhere between like 180 to like 200 something per. But just watch that, if you're really focusing on trying to be fit and healthy, just limiting the alcohol overall. But it can fit in, you just have to watch in moderation. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I will be happy to answer them or interact with you all. Uh, if you want to talk to me privately, you can always reach out to me at josh at joshwilliamsfitness.com. And as always, check out my website at joshwilliamsfitness.com for some fun, fresh content. Bye-bye.